everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be making micro mini gnome shoes. And how we're going to be doing that is I've taken one of my paper towel holders and I've cut it in half to open it up. We're going to be taking and we're going to measure at one inch twice okay and a half of an inch twice so you're going to want to make your marks at one inch two inches two and a half inches and three inches and I always draw my lines through, guys, because cutting straight lines, for me, <laughs> doesn't come so easy. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. I just thought we'd make some cute little mini gnome shoes. And there we have it. I'm just going to cut these and we'll be right back. And from your first cut, you want to cut again at one inch and two inches. So you can just cut right across those guys, just like so. And there you have it. We want to make sure this is nice and straight. You want to take and you want to cut this in half. This is going to be your tops. These are small. Guys, these are teeny tiny. Okay, we're going to do just like this. Okay, just like that. And we want to glue these together. And we want to do the same with our second piece. But before you roll your second piece, we want to cut that center notch out. If you want to be certain and get that right on spot, you can do, it's about mm, just before half of an inch. Okay, so just before half of an inch, you want to mark. Okay, and you always want to leave your mark in the center that will help you get your notch correct. Just like that. Just a little bitty curve up in there. There you go. Do this one a little more. There we go. Now, we want to take a bit of hot glue. Got our sure bonder here. We just want to hot glue this right there. Okay, you might want to wear your finger protectors for this, guys. It does get hot. There we go. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and do the first one for us. It's just like my original version of the larger ones. We're just doing this mini microscopic. <laughs> so small. Okay. Take this one. Like so. We want to get our glue on there, just like this. All right, here we go. I'm so excited to do my holiday gnomes this year, guys. 
got some ideas and I hope they work out for us. All right now. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these two together. These two together. We have our notch on the bottom and this one. And I'm just going to simply glue that right together like so. Okay. Little dot here. And it doesn't take much glue for these guys because they're so small. So teeny tiny. Okay. Now I'm going to glue it just like so. Hold it right in there. There we go. Just like that. I flipped it around, guys. And I put the smaller part. I can't even hold on to it. The smaller part on the bottom. That's so cute. Okay, now... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one and we'll be right back. And just like the larger shoes that I made, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the brace on, okay, to support our toe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dot that. You definitely will probably want your finger protectors for these little guys because they get hot with this hot glue we use. Okay, then you're gonna go around, just go all the way around the back with these. Okay, if you wanna work with a pair of tweezers with these, that would be a great idea. Um, anything like that that will help you hold on to them because they are slippery little buggers because they are so small. Just like so. Okay. They fly all over the place. <laughs> oh, but they're going to be so cute. All right. Just like that. They are tiny. See how little? They are little, 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 little. They are so small. Okay, I'm going to lay that one down. Because it's going to not stand up anyway. They're too little to stand up, guys. All right. Now we're going to take and we're going to put the glue on this one as well. Okay. We want to make sure they're, yep, same direction. I'm going to take my glue a little bit right here. And we're going to do this right here like this. We're going to let this get set a second. It's almost hard to see what I'm doing because they're so small. All right. Then right back here. Again, the same formation right in the back. Just like that. All right. Then we're going to put a little dot under here, just like we do with our large ones, guys. And it's just going to hold that in, just like so. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to zoom you in. Just like so. Right now, it looks like a bunch of little paper towel pieces, like it is, <laughs> plugged all together. You can take your nippers, and you can get any hard glue that is formed. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a piece of ribbon. Now, this ribbon I purchased at Hobby Lobby. 
okay and guys I have not tried this so we're doing this together for the first time and we're simply just going to wrap this little shoe around I'm going to start in the back and I do my big ones like this as well and we're just going to mark our spot just like this we can always cut the excess off but you always want to have enough okay I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap the shoe around and we'll be back and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to take and we're going to run a bead of glue right here. Okay. Just like that. We'll be taking our ribbon, place it right here. Just like so. Okay. You want to run your shoe just like so, guys. Your ribbon even with the bottom. Just even with that. Okay, now we want to run another bead of glue on top of our ribbon in the back. I try to keep everything in the back, guys. Everything, like, you know, all the seams, all that in the back of the gnome shoe. No matter what type of gnome shoe I'm making, I try to keep it in the back of the shoe. Okay, now, we want to put a little dot of glue right in here. Can you guys see this? I'm going to get one of my little pointers, guys. Okay, right in here. We want to put a dab, just a little dot of glue. Okay, so I'm going to take my little Sherbonder hot glue gun here, just like that, and I'm going to press it in, just like that, until it holds. Now, we're, this is a first for me, too, guys, so we're working on these together for the first time. I've never made a micro mini scopic teeny tiny gnome shoe before, so... This is my first time as well. Okay, so now we're going to fold this. And I did not try it, guys. I don't try things before I get on and film and show you guys. I don't try things. I'm. This is my very first go at this. So, okay, I'm going to take a dot of glue and I'm going to place it right here. There we go. All right. And again, there we go. And there we go. There's enough glue left over that I can bring the other side over as well, guys. And I'm just holding it right there. Okay. Oh, boy. It's not wanting to stick too well. So hopefully, let's see. There we go. Oops. There we go. Just like that. Okay. It's going to stick good. And, guys, it's a mini gnome shoe. Now, what we want to do is... You don't want, because it's so small, you don't want a bunch of bulk and a bunch of uh, glue hanging out and things like that. You just, you don't want that. So you do the same thing you do, guys, with our other shoes. We're going to tuck this top part in. And what won't tuck in, guys, go ahead and glue down. That's all we got to do is go ahead and glue it down if it won't tuck in. I'm just going to take a wee, wee bit. That's all you need because these are so tiny. And it ought to stick right in there. Just like that. Hot glue sometimes can be temperamental. So, there we go. There we go. You guys know how I am with my finishes. I like a nice, smooth finish. I don't not into that roughness stuff gotta have a nice smooth finish okay now there we go see and as the ghoul the ghoul the ghoul closes <laughs> as the glue cools a little bit we're gonna get okay there we go all right just like so that's great now, I want to try something, guys. See this ribbon right here? I got this at Hobby Lobby as well. Love it. Let's see. It's going to be way too thick to do this, right? Yeah, that's too thick. So, I have some more that we might try. 
bought it at Hobby Lobby. Love this. I've used it quite a bit. But first, I want to make a bottom for this shoe, guys. I do not like it raw like this. And how I'm going to do this, guys, to put a bottom on our shoe, is I'm literally going to take, you guys know how I do this, I'm going to hot glue this right like this, and boom, right to the shoe. Right to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, guys, and I'm going to get our other shoe done, get it glued here, then we'll come back. We'll finish the soles of our shoes, and we'll put a little decal on this, a little oomph, if you will. We'll zoosh it up, and then we'll be right back. Okay, friends, and here we go. I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to cut around our shoe, just like so. It's so tedious with these tiny little shoes. It's so much fun. Just cutting around the little soles of our shoes. It just gives them more support to do it like this. Okay. And you want to kind of shape them up once you get them done. Just down on the bottom. Okay. Don't worry about any nicks or crannies or anything because it's all going to be covered up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our rope. Again, I start in the back. We're going to take our rope. We're going to start right here with a dab of hot glue, and I'm going to let it sit for a minute. There we go. Let it sit just for a second, just like so. Okay. If you want to apply any pressure, you can use your spatula. I have a silicone spatula. You can use a toothpick. You can use a skewer. Anything that will help you to adhere this rope to the back of your mini shoe. Okay. So it goes just like so. Okay. And then we're going to go around now. We're going to make sure we stay at the sole, adding a wee bit of hot glue as we go. We want to cover up any imperfections along the way, guys, so we can't see those. And if you do not have the ribbon rope, all you need is some jute twine would work for this. Um, one strand of nautical rope. You can untwist the strands if you'd like. Um, you can use anything like that because this is a dotted Swiss material and our little polka dots are white. So super versatile. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, that was super cinchy. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to dot it here to end it. Dot it here. Okay, just a wee bit. This takes a little bit for these mini shoes. Okay. I'm going to cut this as close as I possibly can and even do some trimming afterwards, okay? And there's our little sole on our little shoe. I'm just going to be trimming around this, okay, just like so. There we go. And we're going to put a little jute twine bow right here at the top of our little shoe. They almost look like a little moccasin. They're so cute. Okay, and all I'm going to do here to finish our shoe is I'm going to tie a simple shoestring bow. Just like this. And it's of course going to be very big at first. I just want to make sure it's nice and secure. We're going to around just like so there we go nice little mini bow haha <laughs> that's so cute regular shoestring bow I'm gonna cut it back a little bit just like that then we're going to just like that then we're going to put a dab, and I mean a little dab, of hot glue. There we go. Right on our 
shoe just like so. You can dab this with your spatula, you can dab it with your toothpick, or your skewer, whichever you made the decision to use. Getting glue strings all over it. But I think this turned out so stinking cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the other shoe made and all finished up. And we'll come back and I'll show you these together. Be right back. there we have them friends our little miniature gnome shoes these shoes measure one inch across and one inch tall i think these turned out absolutely adorable our mini gnome shoes okay and if you like what you've seen today go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell right next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time i upload new video thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to like subscribe and share have a great day everyone bye